Hey, how's it going? It's Bev, your favorite video maker. But today I want to talk about stretching. I mean, is stretching good for me? Certainly it's an interesting subject, right? Today I want to talk about is it necessary, what type is best, and when. And then I want to talk about something interesting called the stretch reflex. Now, as a personal trainer, I never stretch. I mean, have you seen a bunch of personal trainers over there stretching in the corner? Probably not. And even as a ski instructor, I just hurl myself down the hill. I'm not up the top of the hill, you know, stretching my leg out. I don't do that. Okay. I wonder why. All right. There are two types of stretching. Dynamic, and so you've always got joint movement, you know, like jumping jacks and whatever. And static stretching, which is um, no movement. Now, I'm, I'm not against yoga. Let me say at the outset, yoga is stretching is strongly focused on flexibility and it involves a lot of static stretching. Um, but I would just say, be careful if you're older, you know, you lose a bit of flexibility over the years. So if you decide to join a yoga class, just be careful how far you stretch. And I'll be talking about the stretch reflex later. Um, just build up to it gradually. But I'm talking about stretching in terms of weightlifting and muscle building, all right? Not yoga. So first of all, what can be stretched and what cannot be stretched? Um, connective tissues such as ligaments um, and tendons should not be stretched. Ligaments attach bone to bone and they, they allow for joint stability. And, um, and uh, like an ACL um, knee ligament, if you tear that, you're in trouble, right? Um, your knee is not stable and you've got to wear a knee brace. Uh, tendons attach muscle to bone and those are joint stabilizers like Achilles tendon. You don't want to tear those, right? Or stretch them so far that they tear in some sort of accident. But what you can stretch are skeletal muscles because those are for body movement and it involves um, the shortening, um, let's take the bicep, the shortening or contraction of a muscle and the lengthening or extension of a muscle. Now frankly, contraction is much more difficult than lengthening, all right? Um, and that's, that's what weightlifting is all about extension, contraction, all right? Now, um, is it necessary? Well, as I said, I never stretch. But if you insist on stretching, just do dynamic before you lift weights. And dynamic stretching is never going to be a problem for your ligaments and tendon tendons because it just they're just natural movement jumping jacks what you know whatever you're doing running on the treadmill i don't care what you're doing it's dynamic okay um and it's it's a natural kind of natural movement this kind of thing stretching um is is uh a little bit different okay um i would say that if you're going to do static, you should only do it after you lift weights, not before. And you say, well, why would you say that? I always see, you know, and I see it all the time. People are over static stretching, you know, whatever they're doing over in the corner before they start lifting weights. The problem is static stretch, stretching is all about the lengthening or extending of a muscle, which is easy, right? Um, but when you do that, think of uh, just kind of a crazy analogy. Think of a, uh, an elastic band. When you pull it out and then you let go, it never goes back to the same length instantly, right? And that's what your muscle is like. So if you're going to stretch it out, um, it's not going to return to the same length. And so it's, it, you're, you're going to be weaker when you're lifting muscles because you've got to contract the muscle and it's been lengthened too far um, or extended too far. Um, so you got a weaker muscle, you can't lift as much weight. Um, now, you can static stretch 
after you've lifted weights, but only do it for the muscles you worked on that day. So if you're doing biceps that day, you can static stretch them after. But you cannot, you must consider the stretch reflex. And you think, well, what the hell is that? Uh, your, your muscles are, your body's interesting, right? It always wants to protect itself. So if you are stretching muscles out as far as you can and it begins to hurt, you know, you get a little pain, that's a message. And that is the stretch reflex because your body says, oh, wait a minute, I don't want that muscle pulled out so far. So I'm going to try and contract it. So you're trying to lengthen it and your body's trying to contract it and you get this going on. So you get pain. So be careful. Me, pff, I never stretch. Okay, see you in the next video.